Speaking to you is Forrest H. Anderson, Democrat for Governor. I'd like to tell you what this governor's campaign is all about. It can be summed up in one word, leadership. Throughout Montana, there's a yearning for a live, forceful administration and a new direction for the big sky country. We are looking for leadership to meet the priority needs of our people leadership to develop state revenues from the present tax structure through increased economic growth, leadership that will adopt plans and policies for the better use of taxpayers' dollars. I think that I am qualified to give this leadership, and if elected, I know we can get Montana moving forward again. In this state's 79-year history, only a handful of men have held office in all three branches of Montana's government. You are looking at one of these men now, Forrest H. Anderson. He has been a legislator from Lewis and Clark County. He has served as Associate Justice of the Montana Supreme Court and is presently Montana's Attorney General. He is a qualified candidate for governor. Forrest Anderson was born in 1913, the son of a Helena Pioneer merchant, a direct descendant of Baron O'Keefe, of vigilante fame. Forrest was a self-reliant youth who loved the great outdoors. He was hunting grizzly bears at the age of 17. Today, he still loves to hunt and fish Montana's mountains, fields, and streams. Anderson and his wife, Evelyn, have three children and three grandchildren. Forrest Anderson, as governor, would unite the tremendous talents and energies of its citizens to mold a better Montana. November 5th is your chance for a change. Elect Forrest Anderson, Democrat for governor. From Libby Cabradas, Montanans are talking about Forrest Anderson. Listen. Forrest Anderson knows the problems of the farmer and rancher. And I know he'll help us lick them. I'm for Forrest Anderson. He's always been with us. He's a Democrat who will win in November. I'm voting for Forrest Anderson. I think he can make our tax dollars go further. I want my son to enjoy the great fishing and hunting I've had. Forrest Anderson's my man. My business can't grow unless Montana grows. I'm voting for Forrest Anderson. I'm Forrest Anderson. I pledge my efforts to bring all Montanans to work together to solve the serious problems which face our state. If you will vote for me on June the 4th, we can get Montana 
moving again. Vote for Sanderson, Democrat for governor. In our state's 79-year history, only one man has ever been elected by its citizens to hold high public office in all three branches of government. You are looking at that man now. He is Forrest H. Anderson, Montana's Attorney General. After serving in the State House of Representatives and on the State Supreme Court, Forrest Anderson feels qualified to govern Montana. He's been an outstanding three-term Attorney General. Anderson's office has made hundreds of court appearances on behalf of the state, sponsored conferences for all law enforcement officers, created the Montana Law Enforcement Academy, and delivered hundreds of sound legal opinions for the state. This dedication to duty has won him 13 election victories. Anderson can do something about Montana's below average per capita income, its declining labor force, its 47th standing among 50 states in economic growth. Stop this downward plunge of Montana's fortunes. Elect Forrest Anderson, governor in November. The governor says he is running on his record. I have news for him. I'm running on his record, too. Two years ago, when he ran for the Senate, he said his program was completed. Now he wants another chance. I believe that Montana cannot afford four more years of him. We've had a do-nothing administration for the past seven years. Vote Forrest Anderson for governor. Montana's greatest resource is the young people of this state. Forrest Anderson is concerned about the growing lack of opportunity for Montana-raised and Montana-educated people. They are leaving this state for better jobs. Montana has dropped to a standing of 47th among 50 states in economic growth. Forrest Anderson is pictured here with his wife Evelyn and their young family. A vote for Forrest Anderson for governor is a vote for Montana's youth. The following program is a very important one for all Montanans, for it concerns you in many different ways. Your child's education, your son's job opportunities, even your wife's ability to balance her family budget. The state capital at Helena houses all three branches of Montana's government. The Supreme Court chambers of the Judicial Branch, the Governor's Office and other offices of the Executive Branch, and the Senate and House of Representatives chambers of the Legislative Branch. In our state's 79-year history, only one man has ever been elected by its citizens to hold high public office in all three of these governmental branches. You're looking at that man now. He is Forrest H. Anderson, Montana's Attorney General. After serving in the State House of Representatives and as Associate Justice of the State Supreme Court, Attorney General Forrest Anderson feels qualified to govern Montana. On November 5th, 200,000 registered Montana voters will decide whether or not he will become Montana's next governor. We think it is important that you know more about the man who, with your help, will be the next chief executive of this state. Forrest Anderson loves the great outdoors, which is a heritage for all Montanans to enjoy. He has been a lifelong resident of the state. After college, Anderson opened a law practice specializing in workman's compensation and water conservation cases. He has coupled this practice experience with a natural executive ability for good administration. 
On January 10, 1968, the Helena Daily newspaper tipped its hat to this ability when it stated editorially that Forrest Anderson has run one of the best offices in the State House. Forrest has been a dedicated family man since he met and married the former Evelyn Sampson of Helena in 1941. She has taken an active part in her husband's career of public service. Their eldest daughter, Margaret, is a University of Montana graduate who is married, the mother of three children. Arlie, their second daughter, is a graduate of Montana State University. She is a high school art instructor. The Anderson's only son, Newell, is a student at Northern Montana College at Haver. Anderson has been at home among Montana's lakes and mountains. At 17, he was hunting grizzly bear in the Bob Marshall Wilderness area near Glacier National Park. Anderson was born in Helena on January 30th, 1913, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Oscar Anderson. His Swedish father was a pioneer Helena merchant. His mother was Nora O'Keefe, who migrated here from County Cork, Ireland. Anderson won his first public office when he ran for the State House of Representatives from Lewis and Clark County. Not long after, that county elected him as its county attorney. He has been a public servant ever since. In 1952, he was elected to the Montana Supreme Court, where he served with distinction. Anderson sought election to the office of the state's attorney general in 1956. He won by a strong total of 146,000 votes. Over the ensuing 12 years, Forrest Anderson and his staff have made hundreds of court appearances on behalf of the state of Montana, sponsored conferences for all law enforcement officers, created the Montana Law Enforcement Academy, initiated the office of the state criminal investigator, organized the new law enforcement teletypewriter system, and delivered hundreds of sound legal opinions. Anderson was elected chairman of the Western Conference of Attorney Generals last year. Forrest has a strong record of working uncommonly hard for the rights and privileges of the common man. This dedication to duty has won him 13 primary and general election victories. Anderson believes in strong working relationship between federal and state governments. He has known ex-presidents Harry Truman and John F. Kennedy intimately. Senators Mike Mansfield and Lee Metcalf are working with Anderson towards a common goal, a better Montana. Not only is Anderson concerned about the protection and preservation of Montana's natural resources, but he is also concerned about the dwindling lack of opportunity for its greatest resource, the people of Montana. He wants to do something about Montana's 47th standing among 50 states in economic growth, our below average per capita income, our declining labor force. To stop this downward plunge of Montana's fortunes, Forrest Anderson must be elected governor in 1968.